Hey there, this is Althea from Read Now, Sleep Later. I'm actually using today um, Blogger and I'm going to be doing a tutorial on how to uh, use Blogger um, but with HTML, which is something that um, a lot of people who might be beginners might be a little afraid of at first, but I'm here to tell you it's really actually pretty easy to learn. Um, we're just going to be going over some really, really basic stuff today and I'm using my rotary scone blog which is kind of a scratch piece of paper that I keep on blogger to do different things and play with um, so here I am actually in the blogger dashboard when you sign up for blogger um, you can choose to be in um, the old interface or the new interface the new interface is called blogger and draft um, you'll have a couple of choices when you sign up um, if you end up using this one I really like this new interface because there's quite a lot of different things that you can do. Um, so let's just start out today with a new post and that's pretty easy. You click the button that says new post. How hard is that? Um, I always start out with a title so let's go with test HTML and I'm just gonna go over a couple of the basics in the blogger screen so you'll see up here a place where you can um, type your title to the post where you can hit the publish button which I don't want to do yet. You can just save if you're just um, wanting to pause and not publish your page yet. You can hit the preview button and this will show you, ooh hey, this will show you the post which of course all I typed in there was the title so that's all you'll see. You can also close this if you just want to go back to um, the dashboard that's fine too. Um, here we are currently in the Compose screen and so you can use these buttons here to toggle between the Compose screen and the HTML screen. The main difference between these two is that when you type HTML or when you type in here for example something like this which is what's called an HTML tag, um, it will appear actually exactly the way that you typed it in here it will not appear as actual code that is interpreted by HTML. Um, but if you type it in the HTML side, so for example, I might just type center, center, and table, and I'll put a border around the table so we can actually see it somewhere. Um, so what I'm typing here are HTML tags and what you'll want to notice about them is that there is, for most tags, an opening and a closing tag. Um, for example, wow, okay. Um, for example, to center something I actually typed the less than sign center and then the greater than sign um, and those enclose all of your HTML tags. Um, in the next nested tag you'll see that I put the closing tag uh, in between those two center tags. That's really just good HTML um, coding. Uh, that keeps your screen pretty organized. You can also, because it doesn't really count spaces, you can space things out a little bit in the HTML side and it won't really matter on the Compose side because this is not stuff you're going to be able to see unless you type text or put in an image or something like that. So here's some text for example. I'm going to just add um, let's add another cell in there just to see the difference and so within these tags I also put um, an attribute so here where you see border equals quote one close quote that tells the table tag that it needs to have a border of one pixel wide um, the TR tag tells the table that it needs to have a row and there's a closing TR tag down here and these TD tags actually create the cells in the table um, so this is just gonna try to space them out 
and this is what it looks like in Compose. So there's our first table cell. Here's the second table cell. Um, I usually use gibberish sometimes. Like I really like using tables for um, organizing images. I do a lot of book blogging and it's really handy to have something like that to play with if you are adding a lot of book covers. So let's see, here's Stick by Andrew Smith. We'll just put that in. I'll talk you through that some other time. But so <laughs> the gibberish told me where the center of my um, table cell was going to be. And here I can change the text to say Stick by Andrew Smith. Uh, a couple of other things that I can do with tables, since this is what this tutorial turned into. Oh, so look, I've switched back to the HTML side and it's converted that image and text and so forth that I put in into um, some actual HTML, which is cool. You can see here, aside from the TD, there was a div tag. We'll talk about that a lot later. That's a little more advanced. Blogger puts these in for you automatically, which sometimes is a pain in the butt. But most of the time is actually really useful. Um, it did put in automatically a link to the image that I uploaded, which you can always replace. And I'll show you how to do that. It's actually really easy to do either here where you can just cut this out and paste in the URL that you want it to go into when someone clicks it in your blog page or to change it here and compose. So I'm just going to pick up, uh, let's see, ghostmedicine.blogspot.com. Switch back there. And um, so if you click on your image here, you can actually change the size however you want. We'll play with that a little more. Um, you can add a caption if you wish. I don't really wish to. I'm just going to erase that. Oops. Uh, remove caption. Or you can edit the link. So clicked on edit link. I'm just going to replace that with Andrew's blog URL. You can do that to text too. That's really easy. So I selected the text and I hit link up there. It brings up this little window. Ta-da! Um, let's see, what else about tables? You might like to know a tag called vAlign. It just stands for vertical alignment. And you can actually align your table cell information uh, top, center, or bottom. Um, again, I said this whole technique is actually really nice for lining up images. So let's try another row here and you can see how that works out. Um, try to keep an even number of cells depending on how many you've already created because it's going to look really funky if you have let's say three cells up here and then you end up with four down here it's just gonna go crazy so um, let's see I think in my second cell here I'm going to put Carol Tansman's image and now you can see this happening on the HTML side adding an image and all I did was to click oops this little do jigger there that says insert image. Isn't that handy? And I happen to be in the middle of the second cell already. So hopefully I have Dancer Girl in here somewhere because that's what I want to do. Ta da! Mm, and I'm just going to choose no layout and medium, and I can change that later. So there's my image. And so here between the first TD opening and closing tags, so in my first table cell, I'm just going to type answer girl. 
by Carol Hansman. If I switch back, you'll see that it lines up nicely. Um, you'll see that the top part here, uh, the words on the side and the image have aligned to the top. That's because I have that handy V-Align top tag in there. I can just put that in the next TR cell. And that will actually align the next one for me, which is what I want. And just to be correct, I'm going to italicize that. Let's find Carol Hansman. Oh, right in here. Here we go. and edit that link to this image. And I'm gonna add that to her name too. So you'll see a lot of things in Blogger are pretty self-explanatory. There are some times though when it kind of goes crazy and adds some extra code without you asking for it. So for example, if you look at my screen here, this table has moved down considerably as I keep switching back and forth between compose and HTML. This br slash tag here is a standalone tag. It doesn't need a closing tag. That's actually what this new um, little forward slash is happening in there. Um, you can just delete those on the HTML side. I find that the gibberish that pops up uh, sometimes if you're trying to change a link and it's not quite working, if blogger is glitched, it's a lot easier to find that stuff on the HTML side, which is why I kind of recommend um, for people who really like to use Blogger. I kind of prefer it over WordPress. Some people probably disagree with me. That's okay to each his own. Um, but you just have to know the little tricks and things that you can do to help yourself out and make it a little easier. See, there's another BR tag. I don't know what's doing that. I just have no idea. It's simple enough to delete if you know what to look for. Um, so now that we're kind of done with our very simple table example there, I'm just going to change this border attribute to have a value of zero. That's going to make the lines around the table disappear. And I'm going to hit publish just to see what comes up. And now we can view the page here and there's a very simple table. Oh, my alignment's a little off, but there's a very simple table um, with those images inside. Now, while you're in Blogger, if you're logged in, you'll see this little pencil that says Edit Post. You can actually go in and make these smaller or bigger, whatever you want. There's a really handy um, link down here. Once you've clicked on the image, it brings up the submenu. It's very handy for doing stuff like that. Now, I don't think I like that. Whole... Oh, so another thing that has happened. Once I went back to edit, it switched me back to old blogger. I don't know why it does that. Um, there's a link up here that says try the updated blogger interface. I'm going to try that. Oh, wait, I'm going to save first. Publish. See, it's weird. I mean, I really don't know why these things happen. There's Rotary Scone again. There's the blog. There's the updated table that you can see. Um, so basically in this lesson you learned center, table, TR which stands for table row, TD which stands for table cell, how to change the border attributes and also how to kind of play with um, images and links in Blogger and also how to delete extra spaces out um, when they go in there. Trust me, they pop up all the time. I don't know why. It, it just drives me crazy. And also how to switch back and forth from old to new Blogger. You see this one opened up in new Blogger, which I really like. Now the other thing I was going to change now that I am looking at this page and I don't like it is taking out this V-line. I don't think we really need that.
I think it looks good that way.